in this tutorial you will learn how to create this that you see using a simple box array and the tool named exposed transform start by creating a simple box set set the tool like 100 100 and height like 50 uh, so what you want to do now is go to this helpers and then transform tm place it in the viewport now you want it to align it to the box make sure this is checked and click ok now it is aligned now you need to link the helper to the box by simply click and drag it okay now create a dummy click and drag place it in the viewport select the helper and go to the modifiers panel in the parameters objects and expose node set it to the box uncheck the parent and the local reference node you want to have the dummy right click on the box Go to Wire, Parameters, Objects, choose Width. Now drag it to the helper and go to Object. This is the fun part. Here you have a lot of options. And let's say we want it uh, uh, the distance. Okay, so the Expose Transform helper will affect the width based on the distance. Click update and you will see it in the viewport. Now while moving the dummy, the distance change and therefore also the width of the box. Make sure you select the box and the helper. And now we can create an array. So go up, click array. And this is a bit tricky at first, but it's very simple. So first we want to array it in the Y direction. So type in 100 because that's the length of the box. And we want to have it 40 of them. And we click now the 2D because we also want to array it in the Z direction. So in the Z we want to type in 50 because that's the height of the box. And let's say we want 40 of them as well. Make sure you check the copy because otherwise the helper linking will not work. Well, then preview the array. You will see a simple wall built up by boxes. Then press OK. Now, when you move the dummy, you will see how the boxes is transforming and because of the different uh, distance between the dummy and every box the width will variate and this will create this very smooth like parametric wall or facade now you can just play around with it or create an animation or whatever so that's all for now thank you for watching